you really doing this epic? No, I'm doing Manjaro. Manjaro. I've lost. Uh, so, Shannon, when I got new hips. Okay. You so you got both of them replaced? Yes. I got both of mine replaced. Yeah, the best thing ever. It, it like night and day. I hate that I waited so long. Me too. So I played at 250. I got up to two, three, 355. What? Yeah. Was good. 355. Yeah. I was good. Good eating too, brother. <laughs> good eating. So I got up to 355, and I was with one of my friends. He had lost a lot of weight, and he said, um, I said, yo, man, how you lose all that weight? And he said, yo, man, I want you to go see my doctor if you're trying to lose weight. And I started doing Manjaro, and I got I went from 355 to two, uh, 285. Wow. And I'm going to get to 270. Uh, just take a shot. It's unbelievable. And uh, I, obviously, I can't stay on it my whole life, but when I get to 270, that, then you can work. Then I can work. Mm -hmm. But like I say, when I got them hips, man, I gained 105 pounds. Wow. Yeah, I was up to 355. And uh, now I'm 285, and I want to get to 270. Because my doctor's like, you 270, you're going to be all right. right. You know, if you 300, 320, 20, like, you got to worry about diabetes, yeah. stroke, hypertension, and things like that. Ain't a whole lot of uh, ain't, 355, ain't no, ain't, 70 no, rolls. No, no, he told me. He, she, she told me her name. is She's a she. She said, ain't no fat old people. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no fat old people. So I want to get my weight down because, you know, you know, it, 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 it's – interesting and difficult and man i'm 61 mm -hmm. it's weird getting older and i'm glad to get old right but better than the alternative yeah but i want to be healthy right I'm back to playing golf there all the time now i'm back to working out but that's the main thing man i, I want to be here when you got to Auburn, you weighed 300 pounds. The first 200 days in college it's reported that you ordered 100 pieces but you led the sec in rebounding your three years you were there. You hold the record for the career field goal percentage at almost 63%. You was SEC player of the year and the decade of the 80s, and you're a member of the Auburn's all-century team. How the hell you do that at 300 pounds? Man, I had some serious talent, to be honest with you. Um, and like I say, the, 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 the college game is not near as fast. It's, uh, and, you know, we just live in a different generation, a lot faster now. But, you know, you kind of, unless you get a fast break, because when, when teams score, you're walking the ball up and down the court. Mm -hmm. And it was really interesting. One of my coaches, Roger Banks, I struggled like the first week I was in college. He says, son, what is your problem? Because I averaged 20 rebounds a game in high school. Because mm -hmm. I played with a really good high school team. And I, they never ran plays for me, so I had to get my own. <laughs> I had to get my own. <laughs> and you were passing the back yeah. out, you quit. No, no, so we had we had about eight players who got scholarship. We had really good teams. Wow. Yeah, we had really good sports teams in my hometown. Because, you know, a lot of times when people in small towns, they got like three high schools. The one thing about my high school, we got one high school. You go K to 12 with the same group. So we always had good sports team. Well, you didn't go K to 12 in the same class, did you? Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, no but I'm telling you, it was crazy. You, you see the same people from yeah. K to 12. Right. And it's so funny how, like, we always had good teams in football and basketball. Mm -hmm. Always had good teams in football right. and basketball. Did it ever dawn on you? You're like, well, man, I'm really killing it. I'm getting these. I'm playing. I'm averaging 13, 14, 15 points. I'm getting 10, 12 rebounds. Man, if I lost a few pounds, I might be able to bump, bump that up to do 20, 15. Did that ever thought cross your mind in college? No, because <laughs> when you when you know, you know the toughest thing about a player, and you know this, and a team, mm -hmm. kind of happened to my Eagles this year. When they got off to like a 10 and one start, mm -hmm. a lot of times what people don't understand when you're having success, you still need to get better as a player and as a team mm -hmm. and have, uh, cause you, you can have bad habits, but you have, your team is so good. You keep winning. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm talking, I'm not sure, but like I'm probably the only freshman to ever lead to SEC and rebounding. Mm -hmm. And then I, I let it every year. So I'm not thinking about flaws. I think I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. So I'm not thinking about, yo, man, lose weight. I'm like, yo, I'm all SEC. Uh, I'm, I'm leading the league in rebound as a freshman, as a sophomore, as a junior. Uh, and I'm like, no, I'm good. And, you know, actually, my coach, 
tried to get me to lose weight and we we fought a little bit early in my career. We're really close today because I had to go back and apologize. I said, you know what? You were right. You were right. I was wrong. I should have lost weight sooner. I could have been better. But, you know, we're all when you're 18 and having success, you don't you don't think anything. You're good. You think you're the beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I it goes back to my thing with Miss Gomez and my dad, like, you know what? It's you. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I tell you, the, the one thing about being in the limelight, man, very few people have the ability to say, my fault, my bad. Yeah. There ain't a whole lot of accountability there, there, going on. There's too. a lot of people kissing your Right. Yeah, very few people have the ability to say, hey, you know what? It's my fault. It's my bad. Mm-hmm. I was wrong. Because, like I said, you got so many people kissing your You got so many people on the payroll who are kissing your It's like, so you have to be self-aware and, and that's the only thing I hate about life. All the dumb shit you did, you get older, you get so much smarter and get so much wisdom, and you go back, man, what a dummy I was. And but nobody told you that was dumb. No, yeah. But 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 you you know, that's a, that is, that's the one thing about life that I that I really hate, that you don't learn all this smart stuff till you get older. Because there's so many people out there, there's so many people out there who make mistakes that they that that, that they either die from or it ruins their life. Mm-hmm. And if you get older, you're like, man, what I did back then was dumb and stupid. And uh, I wish that more young kids would pick up, talk to people like you, me, because we've been through some stuff. Mm-hmm. Like when I watch you all the time, you talk about preparing for success. Uh, you, you talk about your time in Denver. You talk about your time with the Ravens about trying to teach the young guys how to do things, take care of them bodies and things like that. I tell these guys, yo, man, it's like uh, Zion. I like Zion a lot. Does he remind you of you? He reminds me. I mean, he's, he's more explosive. He's more athletic. He's, he's more athletic. Uh, but the sooner he gets in shape, the better he's going to be. Have you had a conversation with him? No. But and I don't I don't know him, but I try to tell him that on television. I hope he hears it and don't take it as a criticism. Cause like he he has got so much talent. And you can't get in shape during the season. No. You get in shape during the summer. Correct. And I see that he's lost about twenty five pounds. That's what the reports are during the season. You gotta do that during the summer. Because you got to be ready to go when the season starts. Because he got, man, he is so explosive. Because that last game that he got hurt in. Against the Lakers. That's the best I've ever seen him play. But you, man, it, and listen, I, listen, I got in shape for $2 million. The money these guys are making today, I'd be damn near anorexic for <laughs> Hey, hey, for, for 35, 40 million dollars a year. They're making 50, 60, Chuck. I know. I'd be, they'd be like, we got to get Charles to eat. He's, anore- <laughs> he's anorexic. I was like, I, my first contract was four years, $2 million. Right. And I said, I lost 50 pounds for, for that type of money. I said, for 30, 40, 50, 60 million dollars. They'd be like, yo, guys, Charles is losing too much weight. He's, we got to make sure he ain't bulimic or something. <laughs> I said, I like, but so, man, I just hope he listens. Right. And don't take it because guys who've been in this business like yourself and myself, Man, it, this is it's it's a, it's just the best job in the world. But sometimes you you need to take constructive criticism. Yeah. But the problem is yeah. is that a lot of time athletes, and I've I've been one, and now I'm on the other side, is that we ha- we have people around us that tell us what we want to hear, hear, not yes. what we need to know. Yes. And so a person that tells you what you need yeah. to know, you're less apt to move away from that person. Yes. As a po- and keep the people that's telling yes. you what you want to hear around. Yeah. They should tell him. They should. He should see it because when I first saw him, I say he reminds me of Charles Barkley, but he's more explosive yes. than Chuck. Yes. But if he lost, if he got down to two fifty, they'd have to change. They'd be like because the thing he did against the Lakers in that one game, he he could do that every night, and that goes back to my original thing. Like I could have a couple good plays when I was three hundred pounds, right? You but, couldn't sustain it, but I couldn't sustain it. When I got to 250, I could sustain it. Mm-hmm. And, and I could go the next day and the next day and the next day. And I hope, you know, these guys, and I hate to be the old man, because, you know, when you say something or I say something. We hate. What we hate or we the old get off my lawn guys. I'm like, no, we know how this story ends. Right. I, I says, let me tell you something. 
I know how every NBA story is going to end. I played against Bird. I played against Magic, Kareem, Michael. Uh, you know, I play, I, like, I know what it takes to be successful. And uh, no, you know what it takes to be great. Yes. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before to something.